What if I were to tell you that the reason why you're feeling so stressed out and overwhelmed in your business all the time <laughs> or on regular days is potentially because of the chaos that is happening inside of you. Now, that is no judgment. I'm not here to judge you. I'm right there with you. I got my own emotional chaos going on in my own business. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you today on episode 302 on the Thrive by Design podcast, a little bit more about clearing emotional clutter and getting out of your own way in business. Because I know one of the most important or one of the reasons why we end up getting people joining our coaching programs and our other courses is primarily because they don't know that next step. And a lot of times they are dealing with, it, they're having like an internal battle of like what should happen next. And so I wanna help support you in a couple of uh, steps or processes that I've used to actually turn everything around. Hey there, I'm Tracy Matthews. I'm the Chief Visionary Officer of Flourish and Thrive Academy and the host of the Thrive by Design podcast. I help jewelry and other creative brands grow their sales and expand their audience with a little something that I call the desire brand effect. And I'm super excited to be here today on episode 302. This is also my birthday episode, which is super exciting. So in order to get the entire full episode, I would love for you to head on over to um, flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash Apple or listen to it over on our blog, um, because I'm going to go into depth in all these sections. But I want to also share with you that we are hosting an event on June 15th because June for Flourish and Thrive is all about growing your audience month. We are going to be supporting you in every way, shape or form possible to help you build your email list, to help you build um, more basically engaged social media followers, to get people to actually buy from you instead of just liking what you do and all the things. So if you are interested, this doesn't matter what stage of business you're in, because we know one thing about the desire brand effect. You always have to be creating desire for your brand and getting more people engaged with that if you ever want to grow and scale your business. On top of that, keeping the people who already know, like, and trust you in the loop and getting them to buy more than once. So we're, we're making June the Expand Your Audience Month, and I'd love to invite you to join me for a very special event. I'm going to be hosting a one-day event on June 15th. Um, it is called the, guess what? Expand Your Audience, Grow Your Sales one-day event. And it's going to be full of speakers, of workshops, of panels and all the things that you need to do to grow your email list, expand your reach, get in front of more people on social and so much more ultimately resulting in sales so that you're totally hooked up and set up for holiday season. Because before we know it, it is going to be September, October, November. And we want to focus on building that audience now so that we can make the most and capitalize the most during holiday. So if you'd like to check that out, and grab my free birthday gift, which guess what? Is all about expanding your audience and growing your sales. Head on over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash grow your audience and check it out right there. So I want to dive right in to talk a little bit more about what you need to be thinking about in order to clear, clear the, the emotional clutter so that you can actually align and get out of your own way in your business and be a lot more successful and productive. So I've identified this into five steps. I'm not going to go deeply into the five steps here because this is a video. Instead, what I'd like you to do, if you'd like to listen to the full episode, find it on our podcast or a blog or find it on Apple or a blog or wherever you listen to podcasts, Thrive by Design, and you can watch the full length episode or listen to the full length episode there. So step number one is all about clearing the stories that actually create your belief system. So a lot of times we develop beliefs in our life. Um, and they are rooted in things that aren't even necessarily are. So we, for instance, the, the easiest way to put this is we all have beliefs about money. Some people think that money is the root of all evil. And other people think money is a tool that helps them get more of what they want and to do good in the world. Uh, some people think that money is hard to make. Other people think money is really easy to make. Some people think it's easy to keep money. Other people think it's really hard to hold on to money and it always ends up out of their hands. The thing is, is like if we're using this money story, like we all have money stories and they're really influenced by our, our upbringing and our belief system. A lot of times those stories aren't even ours. They're someone else's like our parents or uh, from like what our beliefs in society or whatever it might be. And so it's really important that in order to move forward in your business, that you identify the stories that are actually hindering you and holding you back and understand the root cause of those stories and getting clear on that. Step number two is all about giving back what is not yours to keep. 
So as we're talking about these stories, a lot of times we, um, we develop trauma throughout our lives, right? From our experiences, or maybe it was things that happened in childhood or how we attach meaning to things that didn't make sense to us as kids, um, or even as adults, you know, we have different types of trauma that are always coming up. Right. And a lot of times that trauma is inherited from other people. And so we end up like carrying all this baggage around and having reactions to situations in our life that are not, or in our business that are not fruitful. For instance, let's say someone comes to you and asks for a refund and you get really triggered by that. And it's not even necessarily that you don't have the money to refund them. It's just more about the fact that you feel like you're that when you get, if you were to get clear on that, it might be more about the fact that you don't feel valued or that you don't feel heard or seen or something like that. So there's a lot of reasons why we have these, but and sometimes those actually come from our parents. So you have an opportunity to actually take what is not working for you and give it back to the person it belonged to so that you can move on and grow, right? Step number three is to really heal and connect with your inner child. So all this work is cyclical. I'm going to, in the full episode, I go in depth about how child healing exercise, but I started doing this process with my healer coach, Melanie, many years ago. And a lot of it is just really about making your inner child feel safe. So once you can do that, um, as an adult, you can actually integrate all the pieces of yourself and heal that trauma. That's not working. So make your inner child and make that kid in you feel safe, integrate the pieces of your story, ask the inner, your inner child, what they need and ask them if they want to say anything to you and ask them how they need you to show up for them. Cause this is going to be super helpful. Now I know that this might seem a little convoluted and weird in a video format, but definitely check out the full episode to hear more about that. Now, step number four is to be consistent and try different healing modalities. If you're experiencing emotional clutter that is causing you to feel overwhelmed or getting in your own way in your business, no one's the same, right? Some people might love to meditate every single day. Other people can't sit still. It's not going to be something that works for them. So play around with different types of modalities like breath work, exercises, uh, sound healing, meditation, maybe it's seated meditation or walking meditation, doing exercises like our rapid reframe exercise that we have inside of our programs over here at Flourish and Thrive. Obviously, therapy is another great way or coaching um, and consulting to get outside eyes on your business. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can try different healing modalities in different ways to help you get objective feedback so that you could heal and move through some of this emotional clutter that might be weighing you down and holding you back in your life and your business. And then finally, the, the fifth step is really about breathing, integrating, and acknowledging how far you've come. I think a lot of times as business owners, as growth seeking human beings, right? We don't acknowledge how far we've come. Instead, we compare ourselves to other people. We make ourselves feel less than we judge that we haven't gotten as far as we wanted to, but in reality, we've actually come a long way. And so anytime you're feeling anxious or frustrated or overwhelmed or what it might be, I want you to take a moment to stop and breathe into that feeling, create a regular breathing exercise so that you could dissipate any negative emotions and then start to integrate the pieces of you so that you can acknowledge how far that you've actually come. Now, there's a lot more in the full episode on this, but this is really, really important that you take the time to not be so judgy on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself, right? Let's, let's get this all going and moving forward, right? So remember, we all have lessons to learn on this earth, and we are all dealt a hand of cards that uh, we can choose to deal with and move through or stay in a trauma or a victim loop on an ongoing basis. So it's your choice. Obviously, there's all different sorts of ranges of people who are in ex experiences that people have had. So if you do need uh, professional help, please go find a therapist or someone to help you. But at the same time, a lot of this can be done on your own healing work as well. And by being on a path of personal growth. So I want to thank you so much for listening to this quick video. If you'd like to listen to the full episode, head on over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash 302. Check the full episode there. And if you'd like to participate in June, expand your audience, grow your sales month, get on the wait list or head on over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash grow your audience and check it out. We have an amazing live event happening on June 15th. It is virtual, so you can join from anywhere and is perfect for anyone at any stage in business. It doesn't matter if you have, you're making zero dollars or a million dollars or more. Uh, this is really about doing all the things that are going to help you keep getting in front of the perfect ideal customers who want to buy your stuff 
whatever it might be, jewelry products, services, whatever it is. All right. This is Tracy Matthews signing off till next time. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and that you share it with your friends. I'd also love to know what your biggest takeaway was. So if you have a comment for us, please comment below and share your insights. Ciao for now.